Hi everybody, it's Ben here, and what you're looking at is a battery pack from a Ford Escape Hybrid. Um, this would have been in the way back of that SUV, and I got this at a salvage yard for 150 bucks from a truck that was rear-ended. The actual box, the battery case itself, has kind of a bit of a ding in the back. Um, the spacers that hold on the cover were, were snapped, but it doesn't look like there's a problem with any of the cells or anything. It is otherwise pretty complete. And of course, I've got my do-it-yourself electric motorcycle, which I built about seven years ago now. And the batteries, they're just lead acid and they're starting to go. So what I'm thinking is that I take apart this 300-volt battery pack and uh, change the series parallel connections and create a 48-volt battery pack at uh, whatever capacity that comes out to, which I think is about 25 amp hours, which wouldn't be a lot, but um, I primarily use my motorcycle for short distance, so I think it'll work okay. So uh, let's start tearing this thing apart. I already got the lid off of it. And of course, the very first thing to do is uh, pull the service plug and then uh, put on some rubber gloves and safety glasses. Okay, I now just took out all the bolts that were uh, holding in the top plastic part of the battery pack. That's those right there, a big pile of them. Took them all out, and it only feels really just a little looser. So, I mean, the cells, them, cells themselves are going to have some weight, but i got to take a look at some places like uh, the zip ties and different things, see what else is holding this pack in. And, uh, of course, I'm also trying to generally avoid the orange stuff, as we know that's where the, uh, the high-voltage connections are. Although right here is actually the... Uh, main contactor so in theory as long as that's not closed you know nothing's coming out to the power ports down here but still I gotta watch uh, voltage kind of internal to the pack area here okay I was finally able to split the uh, kind of the upper layer of cells in this and I got it propped up with some uh, somewhat non-conductive uh, firewood right here um, basically I was able to pry on that front end and kind of get under there and lift it up so it is uh it's it is loose now um but it's still held in and it looks like it's kind of pinned down under the uh, main contactor over there so i'm gonna have to just uh carefully disconnect that uh keeping in mind where the uh, power connections on this battery are well i just uh disconnected the service port which uh you know basically that's a cover and then uh uh, when the battery pack's actually in use, this big plug is in there, and that uh, has a fuse, and it, when you pull it, hey, no battery pack power, and it looks like, um, if you actually look at where the connections go here, it looks as though this connection connects the top half and the bottom half, these two layers of cells together, so essentially a, a 300 volt nominal battery pack, you got 150 volts on this top layer and then there's another layer beneath it and it looks like they both connect right through here and then also right on it is a uh, is a shunt for uh, ammeter um, right here so I got that loosened up and then kind of the same thing on the other end I have to get this connected and that's the main contactor so uh, I gotta find all the screws holding that in and then after that I should probably be able to get the top half of these cells out well, I got the main contactor loose, so you can see the two power connections on there lined up with the two on the two halves of the battery pack. It's a little bit of a trick because, uh, you know, I don't have an exploded diagram or anything, so I just kind of have to take out all the bolts and wiggle and see which way things are uh, supposed to go. But uh, main contactor is disconnected, and then over on here the service disconnect is, is disconnected. So getting closer to getting that uh, top section of pack out. Okay, here we go. I did it. I got the uh, top disconnected. I got it pried up just so we can see. Um, now that it's apart, the top half and the bottom half, we can see it looks like there's uh, lots of little wires running around for uh, battery management primarily. Um, and then in the back of the pack there, that would have been the uh, driver's side. There's some uh, connections I got to disconnect over there. And there's one here, so I'll have to find the uh, quick disconnects and, and disconnect those. Um, and then I should be able to take off the top half of the part pack and uh, break out cells if I'd like. Okay, second try. Power terminal's away from me. Everything's unplugged. 
Lift with legs, not the back. And now we also have a good view of the uh, bottom layer, the inside of the pack here. Uh, but let's go look, go get a close up of uh, the top half that uh, I just took out here. So here's the top half of the battery pack. Uh, these are uh, Sanyo nickel cells. Um, it looks like there's kind of a grid of circuit boards here that would be the uh, BMS connections. And that all goes to the middle to a potted area. And then all that connects through down to a multi-pin output cable. So that would have been uh, going to a box with uh, BMS information. Then there's still a couple little uh, uh, orange wires coming off, so I'm going to avoid touching those. And over on uh, the power output end, um, it should be roughly a 150 volt nominal pack right now. It's uh, about 167 volts. So I've gotten all these uh, little tiny screws that hold on those circuit boards, got those all out. They also hold on um, kind of an end cover piece that went over this, and uh, that exposes the high voltage terminals. And uh, putting a, uh, just throwing a multimeter on there, it's about 25 volts for between every other row. So from here up to there, around and back is about 25 volts uh, per double row. And there's uh, 13 rows double wide out and back. Okay, I got all the screws out that held in the circuit board. I got all the screws out from the terminals. So I should now be able to pull off this BMS stuff here. So here we go, this is half of the battery pack with all the, uh, the BMS removed, the cover removed. Um, over here on this end is a little bus bar and that goes all the way to the, uh, the one connection here. But uh, with these all busted up, this is loose. And so, da 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 da. Cells, and it looks like they're all kind of shrink wrapped together five at a time. It definitely looks like something I can rebuild into a motorcycle battery pack. So now what I'm doing is I'm pulling all the cells out and I had a, a black Sharpie pen handy. So I'm just uh, marking a negative on the negative side, just checking that first with the multimeter and then uh, stacking them up with the terminals all facing the same direction so I can't accidentally uh, uh, get to a higher voltage or a short circuit and I'm looking at this and this tray is pretty nice You know, maybe I can take a sawzall and cut it into smaller pieces to uh, rearrange things for a 48 volt battery pack So if we look here in the battery area of electric motorcycle um, the area is really uh, It's about seven inches by about uh, 17 and then, then the actual distance across the width um, that I have to straddle on the motorcycle is about 14 inches. So here I took the, uh, the 6 volt nickel sticks and uh, arranged them all with the, uh, the poles facing the same direction for now uh, in a milk crate, 6 gallon milk crate. And frankly, they are just a little shy of 14 inches. So uh, the sticks running uh, transverse is about the same size as uh, the battery pack already in the motorcycle and if I measure across uh, we got about a little shy of 17 inches and then vertically it's about six or seven so packed the way this is right now in a, a grid of uh, 4 by 12 uh, for 48 sticks 
Um, that's actually just about the right size, and that still gives me uh, two sticks left over. There were 50 of them in the Ford Escape hybrid battery pack. So that gives me uh, two more to play with, and I can rig those together as a 12-volt uh, battery pack for some other project.